So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the solutions to the E38 and E43 fault code on the Alpha Intec range. If it's an intermittent fault and it's not giving you the fault code while you're on site, you can hold down info and push that button until you get to D9. Then you can use the right hand control knob and turn that to scroll through the last five fault codes. E43 and E38 are the same and will only appear as E38 on the display when you're looking at the previous fault codes. So the fault is loss of flame. I'll do a screenshot of the manual and what it tells you could be the fault. And then I'll give you a screenshot of the technical sheet and that gives you some of their solutions as well. So with those combined bits of information, you want to be checking firstly the flue gas circulation. You're going to be checking your working pressure and inlet pressure. Then you want to be doing your flue gas analyzer test on minimum, adjust if necessary. Then you want to check the electrode condition. And then finally, check the fan speed settings and you can increase to tackle if you have strong winds in the area. Get your inlet and working pressure Make sure there's enough gas getting to the appliance. Check with your individual model what the minimum output should be. I've done a little red dot on the manual here so I know what I'm looking for and adjust as necessary. To put into service mode, hold down the reset and then turn that right hand to our dial all the way anti-clockwise and that will be in minimum. And then you've got the large um, four mil hex key behind the brass cap and you can adjust it there. If your reading is way out and you can't adjust it, you might need a new gas valve, assuming you're working and inlet pressure is okay. Give Alpha a call to confirm. Next, we'll move on to the flame sensing electrode. Take it out, check the condition. If you don't know what shape it should be or size or length, then you can either Google it and compare or check the MIs and it should say the gap between the burner. This one is definitely the issue. Last thing you can do, and this is mainly for combating adverse wind conditions, you can up the fan speed. If you turn the left hand dial to six and the right hand to nine o'clock, hold the top two buttons until S6 appears. You can then scroll to S0 and S2 and you can up them slightly using the chart I've just put on there. If this has helped you out or you're enjoying my videos anyway, give me a thumbs up. It does help the videos and how they do in the long run. If you add me on social media, on Instagram or Twitter, then you can find some competitions, promotions and some plumbing disasters as well. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.